He has a high school named after him. He's traveled the world promoting the interests of the United States. He's even responsible for making this month National Hispanic Heritage Month. CBS 2's Whitney Drolin shows us why retired Congressman Esteban Torres is one of our people to watch. He lives here in West Covina with his wife of 56 years. Retired U.S. Congressman Esteban Torres has accomplished a lot, especially for the Latino community. Well, I started out really as a trade unionist, uh, organizing workers all over Latin America and the United States for the uh, United Auto Workers. Uh, that uh, got me into the job of uh, community organizing. The East Los Angeles Community Union was a, an organization that still exists. Torres then went to Paris as the U.S. representative for the United Nations organization called UNESCO. He was appointed by then President Jimmy Carter. But after two years in Paris, Carter wanted Torres back in the U.S. and at the Capitol. The president uh, recalled me saying, I need you in the White House next to me because I think that our government needs to enhance uh, Hispanic uh, problems that we have in the country. Torres was then off to Washington working alongside President Carter serving as the special assistant for Hispanic affairs for two years. He then came home to LA where he served in Congress from 1982 to 1999. I was raised in East Los Angeles. I, uh, I worked there uh, initially with, with the community union. I'm a graduate of the local high schools, Garfield. Uh, my, my whole commitment in government was really to fulfill the needs of that community and, and the district that I represented. In 1995, Torres met with Fidel Castro to discuss the U.S. imposed embargo and strengthen relations with Cuba. Tell me about this picture the day that you met Fidel Castro. In my estimation, he was seeking to uh, reconciliate uh, with the United States and once again um, have relationships. His hallway is lined with pictures just like the one with Castro, Ronald Reagan, Nelson Mandela, Bill Clinton, Al Gore, and Cesar Chavez, just to name a few. And last year, he also got a $260 million East LA High School named after him. In his spare time, he's an amateur painter, but he says of all of his accomplishments, he is most proud of his wife, five children, and 12 grandchildren. This June, the first class of seniors will graduate from Esteban Torres High School. About 500 students are expected to get their diploma. Reporting in East Los Angeles, Whitney Drollin, CBS 2 News.